Hey guys, what's going on? Multi Game here, and I downloaded this thing called Kodu Game Lab. It's a, basically a game creator for kids, really. Now, I'm an 11 year old, and I figured out how to use this quite quickly. So, today, I want to show you how to make a basic fishing game. So, first, I want to show you my fishing games. <clears throat> I've got two levels so far. Um, where is it? <laughs> these are all my games. Um, I'll do a video for each of these. So, here's my first fishing game, the first game I ever made. So, as you can see, the little character that is floating around and eating the fish is called Kodu. And as you can see, I'm keeping track. And this is level two. Got more fish. It looks quite nice. Actually, the graphics are surprisingly good for a free game from Microsoft. If you guys are interested in downloading this, then uh just leave a comment and i'll stick a link or i'll give you the link on the spot so this one's quite hard actually these i made these fish go a bit faster um if you see in the top if you notice in the top right hand corner of the screen you can see my um points so i won the game so now let's go back to the main menu and let's let's simply let's just make a new world <laughs> so I'm gonna make fishing level I don't know I'm gonna start making fishing level 3 because my other world was kind of a fail so you start off like this and um, so first you want to raise the land a bit to make your pond you can select what shape you want your land razor to be. I, if you select a magical, it will select it all. So maybe like that. And then you can add land with the paintbrush, the land brush, and then just raise the land a bit. Uh, but I don't want to raise it. I just want to raise it in one spot. So let's get this. Let's raise the land. You can also do this. And move around with the WASD. If you can select this hand, you can also like drag your screen around, which is <laughs> is really nice. I really like this. Now you can get the land flattener and flatten out the land and make it look like a hill more than just a big big Minecraft thing. So now let's make our pond. To make a pond, you want to get the land brush, select a circle, and um, I'm going to put mine right there and just right click, do that. Now get your land brush and then just fill in the bottom like that. Oi. Go away. I don't want you here. <laughs> so as you can see, you can cut out and replace blocks really easily. So now let's fill it with water for our fishies. I think I'm gonna go for a darker type of water. So that, since you can probably see this water easier, but I haven't really tried it, any others. Let's see, you've got lava. Um, let's go with this one and you just click to fill it up and if you drain the land by accident right click and you can undrain it next you want to be adding fishies I'm guessing so to do that go to objects click in the pond or you click anywhere really but if you click in the pond then it will place it there which is easier and you want to go to the bots too which is with the Sputnik the turret and the um, turtle so we want to select a fish as you can see you've got a range of things and select a ship 
you can see ship but <laughs> getting too far into it I don't want a, a ship right now right now we just need a fish so fish is a bit too big just change the size simply by doing that I think we're gonna make it about that big since it's level three so next you want to choose a color for your fish I'm gonna have it red um, so now you want to program the fish to swim around now you can do two things when you program him you want to do when you left click so basically when you start the game you he will move along the path and as you can see you can do turn eat actions you can shoot but you know so move on path and then you can choose how fast you want them to do it I don't want them to do anything I just want them to go their normal speed so that's all you have to do for the for the programming for the fish now let's set the path by clicking the path maker here now it's like so don't go too far to the edges otherwise the fish will get stuck on land now let's play as you can see our camera is moving about all over the place and it's kind of a bit bad so to fix that um, well we're gonna fix that in a minute so we want more than one fish right so you can copy and paste as many as you want I put about a dozen and three, so 15 fish in there. So now, 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 now that we've got all our fish, let's click play, and they're all swimming around like, well, I don't know, a, a group, a flock, uh, summit. I don't know what the fish thing's called. I've gone blank. So anywho, now we want our camera angle. So move into a position where you want your camera to be whilst you're playing the game kinda want mine to be a bit like, like that yeah that's good and then go to settings go down and then you can either anchor your camera or you can you know I don't know what that one is but this one will like fly around and follow the entities but I want to anchor mine down to make it play my camera will stay there so now we want a kodu which is going to eat the fish so select your kodu you gotta rotate him around so he's facing the fish look at his little fish oh he's so cute <laughs> and then you want to put him down on the ground because he's floating in mid at the moment and let's make him what color do i want my kodu to be Let's make him one colour that I haven't picked yet. I haven't got, in my game I mean, I haven't got a red one yet. So, as you can see, he's not doing anything at the moment. So we want to control him to eat the fish. So let's make him a bit bigger actually. A bit small. There we go. So then you want to program, and then when I move my keyboard, the arrow keys I want him to move um, slowly and then you can add a limit so you can only go like north and south or east and west or you can do a certain direction that he'll go in you can add more slowly to make him go whoops I just knocked my microphone over you can make more slowly to make him go slower but I don't really want to do that so now when we need to make him eat the fish so when he bumps into a fish see you can have like have him express like in the fish like you can have hearts when he bumps into a fish he'll like be like yum something 
Um, let's have like when he bumps into a fish, he's going to be happy. But then he's going to do. He's going to eat the fish. You don't really need that. But you could also do like he will. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> let me see, let me try that again. I don't know what just happened. You can have him like when he sees a fish. You can have him like say something which will like um like he it will come up like a speech bubble sort of so when he bumps a fish I don't want really happy he will eat it and when he bumps into a fish he will also gain a point for eating the fish so as you can see when he eats a fish right it's important that the score is under eat so that he gets plus one point oh, that's zero plus one point every time he eats a fish it's important that this bit is under so if you put this bit first you need to drag them up by holding shift and clicking so when you've scored how many fish did I put in I put 15 so 10 and whoops not 25 do game win so that's the coding for the kodu so let's play the game and if you want to change the color of your counter at the top top right hand corner I'll show you how to do that in a minute as well oh, no, no. get in my belly as you can see the fish are docking themselves which doesn't always happen it's kind of random actually where are you um, get it yeah, you're confusing me. Eat him. Yes, winner. So now it's quite nice, but it looks a bit plain. So we can go here. If we go down a bit further, we can change the colour of the sky. I want like a sunset. You can have it like... I just want it light. Yeah, you can have different colours. I think I'm just going to go for... Ooh, foisty one. Oh, there's some nice ones actually. I haven't fully explored this yet, to be honest. That one looks nice. And then um, here you can have like when you start the game. I'm gonna have count description with countdown. Yep. So that means when you start, new world. Is it gonna do three, two, one? I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Dun, 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 dun. But I don't really want to play it. So, I haven't got a description yet for it. So, I just want a countdown. What? Title and world description. Countdown. Right. So now, you want to add a bit of scenery, make it look nice. You go to the entities again. I'm going to make a tree, so I'm going to click over there, because I want my tree over there. Let's get this tree. There we go. Um, maybe we want some rocks. So we can put some rocks over here. And let's have mm, just normal rocks, and you can copy and paste few rocks here and there and then maybe football make it a bit smaller put it under the tree like so so now it looks quite nice so let's have a go with our game let's go dun, dun, dun. so now I kind of want to make him like do something like have you if you saw my first one, it had like love hearts when you saw the fish. Then he had like stars and stuff. But I kind of like this time I want it to have love hearts again. 
Uh, I don't know. I kind of want him to be happy when he sees fish, so I should have kept that programming. So stupid. Um, um. That's just one little fish left. Oh, he barely escaped me. He's such a little sneaky devil. And you can change the colour of all the fish. That's what I did on one. But it, like, failed. I, I forgot to save it. Damn, sucker, this fish is hard. I can't get this guy. I brought it back when I got this guy. I didn't manage to get the fish, and I think I know why. The fish are a bit, like too low down but I'll fix that later on so as you can see you can just change the color of the fish by doing that and you can have like different points if you get different colored fish so now we want to add this world um, Fishing version three. You want to add this world to my um, fishing two. Where's fishing? Let me delete um, fishing version two. There we go. So let me just quit. And now, what you want to do is you want to go to your Kodu in like your previous level. And then you want to do, when you've scored 12 points, you don't want it to win. You want the game to go to the next level. And then you want to select the level, bang, attach. So let's play. Let's see if I can quickly quickly do this. As you can see here I've got some rocks and um, a tree and a football as well. And then there's an apple in the water. Yep, exactly. Bang! Next level. That's I quite like that. That's quite nice. So now all I gotta do is just fix the height of these fishies and I should be done. Now, I'm going to give you a quick tour of my other worlds. So, let's... Doodles! Let's load... Let's. I'm going to show you my race world first. Crap. <laughs> we already started. So, as you can see, you've got paralyzer, tranquilizer bullets over there, which slow down. Which slow you down when you get hit and I've got quite a few players, quite a few bots playing this so it's quite hard actually and I put them on full speed ahead and then there's tons of cannons as you can see firing um, tranquilizers, paralyzing bullets which will like, slow you down stun bullets, hopefully none of them hit me <sighs> there we go, I think I might actually win this one as you can see this is clearly a work in progress. I mean, <laughs> just by looking at it, it's not very impressive at all. Now, I'll just show you the coding for these cannons really quick. Not much. Every one second, you'll shoot a missile that stuns. And then I'll show you the coding for the bikers. You can see got five other bikers and the green one so I'll just show you the coding see when he gets on the land type which is the one at the finish line the game ends and I win and he moves twice quick and then me program when I get on that land type over there I win and first person as well so let me let them win and show you how it works I'll just go slowly behind them <laughs> <laughs> actually, I'm going as fast as I can. I still can't outspeed him. Well, actually, never mind. Let's just pretend I'm in a race and I crash or something. Just going round a corner. <laughs> Bang! Boom. 
Oh no. So, bang, some guy got hit. Wow. Oh no, I got hit. No. I <laughs> got hit with a stun. Look at these dudes. Oh, he got hit directly. Alright, look at that guy. Looks like the blue guy won. Bang, game over. So, yeah. It's quite nice. I just need to, like, uh, do some more stuff. Right, so next we've got football, which uh, I don't know what's up with it. I think I'm just gonna delete that world because it's glitched out. We've got Rover versus Kodu and Apple Hunt. Now, Apple Hunt, oh, it's a real work in progress because you gotta get all the apples, but the thing is, when he gets them, he gets like 10 points. Let me just show you. Look at the count on top. Bam, 15 points from one apple, 17. And it's meant to be one point from each apple. But I really don't know what's happening. If you guys know what's going on, I'll just show you the coding for the rover. If you could tell me how to fix it, I'll be very, very grateful. So here's the programming. When he bumps an apple, he scores one point on the red counter. But when he bumps an apple, should I make him like um should I make him like pick up the apple like when he bumps an apple should I make him pick it up let me try something when he bumps an apple do um grab right let's try that there we go okay never mind I thought I had it fixed anywho so now my last world is Rover versus Kodu, even though I need to rename this because it's not Rover versus Kodu, it's Sputnik versus Rover. So, as you can see, you got the cannons firing at me, and you gotta watch out because they do a ton of damage. Watch, look at my health, right down, and they will only fire at me, so and I've got to try and kill that guy. You can also try and knock out the cannons, but I wouldn't recommend it. So here comes the rover. He's just going to drive around randomly. You gotta, you gotta destroy the rover to win. It's really hard. Let me try and do it. Let me try and land a few more hits. Ah, oh, crap! My health's like half. No, don't hit me, please. Even though I've got like a thousand hit points, which is the maximum. I put it to that, because otherwise it's too hard. Alright, come on. Yes, I won. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this tutorial helped. If you want any tutorials on any of my worlds, um, I will... I will gladly... Um... I'll gladly, um, wait a sec, oh, this is Sputnik, I don't know how you spell it, I think it's like that, I don't know, I will gladly do a tutorial, and I'm going to keep working on projects, so peace.